Hey guys, Cringy Anime here. I'm so sorry I haven't been able to contribute much other than moderating um, in the community for the past couple days, maybe a week. Uh, I'm slowly like phasing out of it because uh, it's getting back into Yu Gi Oh! <sighs> so I'm gonna contribute by drawing my OC. Well, for today, I don't know if I'm gonna do a whole lot today. So some of you know that my OC is a goose, um, the gander, the goose. <laughs> Ironically, um, I picked the name gander before I realized that a gander is literally a name for a male goose, like the terminology for it. So, that was fun. It was... Yeah, I was like a few minutes before I looked it up, the word. And then like, it says, definition of male goose. I'm like, wow, that's ironic or something. <laughs> Either way, yeah. No, time to take care of. So how was Ganya born? Um, honestly, not much, it's not a, uh, very, um, Not very interesting, it's a matter of a bit of boring tale. Literally it's uh let's see, I was um literally when Star's Taco, shout out to her, she's a great artist, um Star made her um OC. I mean that was sort of like a tipping block for me to make my own. Um now I didn't want to really do a raccoon. I didn't want to do a cat, I wanted to do something different, um I thought, but like, which animal should I do? So, I, uh, went to bed and put up a question. I think you remember something like I put up a post, like, should I do this OC? Uh, um, in the morning I made my choice and decided to do one. And, like, the first thing that came to my head was, do it a goose, or a duck, or something. And that's how Gander was born. So, um, sort of the design on the spot, not a whole lot. One, find someone that can make him, uh, like, distinct, but not too distinct. <laughs> um, well, like... He, like he could be part of the show and something. And I wanted to give him a role that's like, like with the show, I thought it was like centered around entertainment. Well, well, animation, like it's centered around animation, but there's also the roles of like entertainment. Like Benny's a dancer, um, Boris is a clarinet player, Alice sings, so it's sort of like either a music, um, sort of like more of like an entertaining group. So I thought, mm, what are the forms of entertainment out there? There's a uh, juggling, no. Then, oh. So eventually, it took me a couple minutes to think up miming, and it thought fit him perfectly because, um, well, I thought it would be a cute role for him to play, and two, miming is when a, is part of acting. It's a form of acting. Um, I don't, it's, uh, like, similar to that of, like, clowns, and, well, not saying that mimes are clowns, if you're a mime, I'm not saying you're a clown, you're probably really, um, really, really good, um, not that clowns aren't good either, <laughs> but, yeah, it's, um, it's a pretty cool role that I thought I can give this guy, then after that, it was been a little bit of a... <laughs> Few things of like my of uh, Gander, he naturally quiet. Um, and for actually a few days, I was unsure of whether I should make him mute or not. But or is the old terminology dumb? Not saying he's stupid. I mean, dumb was the word for someone who was a uh, who can't who was unable to talk. So I was unsure if I could make him mute or not. But then. Uh, I thought it was for the best because it would be an interesting to see what would happen if a goose who we all know is naturally, not naturally, but quite loud, is not loud. So, if that would give an interesting perspective to his character. 
I think it does. So I decided to keep it, and so poor Gander is mute. Um, whenever I go over my um. My designs, I actually do try to be somewhat, um, realistic with them. So, like, you see, like, this part right here. This little winglet right here is a, uh, special feather right here actually helps birds land more properly. So I always add it into my drawings of Gander. Um, I don't remember the correct terminology for it. Um, but I know there's another terminology for it, but I'm not going to use it because it can easily be mistaken as an insult to someone. Uh, and... And it still might be a bad word, even if the correct terminology is used. So, yeah, just going to keep it like that. Basically, it's a feather at the edge of a bird's wing before the primary feathers that helps them land better. It's I don't remember, I think it was either something to do with a drag, or something, or angle, or, I don't remember. But, yeah, it's really, really cool. So, I hope try and add it. So, and for Gander, being a cartoon character, it acts as an extra feather. <laughs> this, hopefully, will be done. that whole time. Oh, great. And that's it. Do it again.